Hello guys, this is Real Tools. Today I want to show you how to make a good stitching with affordable tools. Uh, this is Kyoshinel Picking Irons. I got them when I visited Kyoshinel headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. I paid around um, 2,000 yen. It's, this one is for 1,400 yen. This one is 750 yen. It's a very affordable tool. Uh, I've, I've been known them since I started Leathercraft and uh, this is very nice tool. Uh, if you take, uh, if you know how to use this well, uh, it's a very effective tool. So, just uh, in the catalog here, uh, they have a different set kinds of uh, pricking irons. Uh, this one is uh, flat, flat tongue, flat teeth, and uh, this is diamond shape. And uh, this is a fairly recent product. It's a European style uh, pricking iron. So, uh, you you will get different uh, results from each pricking iron. So. They all have different sizes, and uh, I'll show you. So diamond shape one is uh, three mil, four mil, five mil, six mil, and uh, the European pricking iron one also is three mil, four mil, four point five mil, and uh, five point zero mil. So there's no six mil or five mil uh, for the European pricking iron. Uh, so they they show the stitchings right here. Looks like this. The hole looks like this for the European pricking iron, and uh, this one is uh, diamond pricking iron, and uh, they show the stitching like this. Okay, so in order to do this, uh, you need to first take care of the pricking iron. So let me let's unpack this and show you what it's like when you open when you buy the new buy the new. Okay. So you get the rubberized kind of some kind of rubber coatings on them. So you unpeel this. Like this. It's kind of oily. I guess they put some lubricants and oils on in them so that it doesn't get rust while they're shipped to other places. Okay, so all right, so it is so it looks like this when you first unpack it and uh, if you use it like this it's fine but I want to uh, tune it up just a little bit to to make it better tools okay so it looks like this when you buy new okay and this one also Okay. I'm going to show you how to sharpen this with a sharpening stone. Okay, so I'm going to start with a 1000 grit water stone. Uh, make sure you flatten your sharpening stone before you do this kind of job. So right now it's, uh, it's a new state and uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to sharpen on the side first and uh, leave the tip. I'm going to do the tip later, okay? So I'm going to first just uh, rub it on the flat side here and here just a, without the tip okay so you do it like this and then you apply even pressure or uh, do not put you know more pressure on on the teeth you know to try to be even as possible okay and uh, please don't go with the uh, rough stones because um, if you are a beginner and uh, you are haven't done this before you might ruin your pricking iron so do this with a uh, 1000 grit stone or above high grit because so you don't ruin your pricking irons. Okay. Okay, so you will see that uh, one side has been, uh, this rough marks are being removed and uh, you will continue to do this until the, all the marks are gone. Uh, you can do this faster with a rough grit, 220 grit uh, sharpening stone or diamond stones, but uh, those stones remove metal very quickly, so that means you can uh, ruin your pricking iron very quickly too. So uh, play safe, you know, I'd go with the higher grit sand, uh, sandpapers or sharpening stones to avoid mistakes you might make. Uh, 
Okay, so here's the result after with the 1000 grit stone. So we have to remove all these marks. Uh, just uh, concentrate on the teeth. Uh, if you, it shows the uniform ground, ground marks, uh, you're good to go. I did also with the uh, two super also. Now you need to make a sharper uh, point. Uh, as, as it's new, it's, uh, it's very sharp, but uh, I'm going to make it just uh, extra sharp and shiny. So I have to use this part. Uh, after sharpening on this side, this part is not flat anymore. It has uh, some kind of wavy uh, surface. Uh, even though you can't really see, uh, it does. So. So now I'm going to, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you side view here. I'm going to draw and I pull it up like this. We don't go too too up. Uh, just uh, follow the uh, initial curve that's already made onto the tools. So you just pull it and you just stop here and, and then pull. Okay, so pull like this. Okay, like this. Okay. Don't raise it too high, okay? So if you're too high, you're doing the tip. Okay, so uh, place your finger and then place it onto the flat spot and try to be uh, apply even pressure. Uh, all the human hands are not uh, symmetric, so uh, even though you do this, uh, the, the pressure is not even, so one teeth may wear out quickly than others, so. If you're doing it with a rough grit uh, sharpening stones, uh, you might shorten the teeth way more than the other ones. So that's why I recommend you guys doing it with, with the 1000 grit stones or above. Uh, even though this will be the slow, slow process, uh, but uh, this will you know, save you pre canyons and uh, it can prevent you from the, the very awful mistakes you might make. Okay, so. You keep doing this until you get the even ground marks at the tip. Okay. Don't get water time to time, just to moisten the sharpening stones. Okay. And check all right so you I'm not sure if you can see on the camera but the tip has very even ground surface now okay so it's now ready for 6,000 word stone okay okay so for 6,000 grit stone you do the same uh, as you do the 1,000 grit stone you apply even pressure try to apply even pressure and uh, you sharpen it on the flat spot first. Do the flat spot first, and then you will sharpen the point tips. Okay. Okay. So this is six thousand grit polish. Okay. You will get the fairly sharp and the fairly polished surface in the teeth and for the final polish you will do the stropping so this is rough this is fine starting with the rough side flat against the spot like this you flip it Okay, and then pull. I was just uh, I was doing, you know, same thing as like pulling it and raising the angle, not too much though. Okay. Do it with the two prong also.
I'm doing the flat spots and then sharpen polish the teeth also. Okay, and then final polish. This is rough, I mean, the fine. So here it is. You will have to clean the uh, residues between the teeth, but uh, just uh, check out the teeth, how sharp it is and uh, how polished it is. This will make way much easier to use because it doesn't stick into the leather. It will pull it out easily and uh, it will go into the leather very easily. Okay. Let me show you how to use this now. <laughs> 